Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Pretty After 50. If you haven't watched my video below, please do, and I'll just give you a brief synopsis of what I'm trying to do here. Um, originally, last month, I was going to start reviewing beauty box subscriptions for ladies over 50 like me, and the day I was going to start filming, I got a phone call and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I decided to film my meltdown, and that was awful also in the links below, and then I changed my focus. So now I am looking to put together a new box specifically for those of us dealing with breast cancer out of the products with the existing beauty boxes. So I'm on, I'm on the hunt for this. I've subscribed to four different beauty boxes and um, in my last video I opened Birchbox. So I have used a couple of the products. Last night I washed my hair with Manu shampoo and I use their conditioner as well and it comes in a little thing. It's gonna, it's gonna be like two uses. It's, um, it's pretty nice uh, general sample. Um, I didn't, I don't know, they're all right, shampoo and conditioner, but their serum, their serum is really, really nice. Um, I put it in my hair, uh, but I purposely left some, uh, some of my hair unserumed. So you can see it's not like shiny and, um, you know, like all silicone-y, silicone -y. and so um, it absorbs into my hair. My hair is really super dry and damaged because I color it. Um, so it just kind of goes into my hair like lotion. It's And look, it doesn't have that shiny silicone gross shit stuff. And um, so I really, really liked it. Um, the other thing that I tried was this lovely Lord & Berry uh, uh, eye pencil. I said it was a lip pencil in the previous video, but I was wrong. So it's really super frosted, but I tried it on my inner ducts anyway, and it settled into my wrinkles and look, it just looks like really I shouldn't wear stuff like that because of mold. So um, this is going to my daughter. Uh, the other thing I tried was um, the three in one Avene, I think you pronounce it that way, um, makeup remover. I used it. My eyes are really sensitive and I didn't have a problem. So I would, uh, I would buy that again. I also, I didn't use this, the Brazilian blowout spray today because I just have my hair colored and I didn't want to do any more damage with a blow dryer or a curling iron. So that's why my hair is straight today. Overall, Birchbox, 10 bucks a month, easy cancellation policy. I still subscribe to it. I think it's great. Now, to be fair, okay, a lot of these, most of these subscription beauty boxes have a beauty profile where you can choose uh, the kind of products that you're interested in. So I filled out my profiles before I knew I had breast cancer. So a lot of these aren't going to be really um, specific to what I'm looking for, for beauty or for breast cancer patients. So it's more geared toward what I was thinking at, this, at that time. And that time it was hair products. So that's why my birch box is full of hair products. Uh, okay, so um, I wanna tell you about uh, what's going on with my cancer treatment. But first, I forgot I had this box. I, I ordered this box and um, it's for my guy. And check it out, okay? It's um, a men's grooming box from Walmart. Here's the inside. Axe must have paid for most of this because it's uh, uh, pretty heavy marketing on Axe. And he actually, he used, look at this, it's really nice packaging. I mean, really, I didn't expect that. So um, it ha comes with a nice Axe spray. It's not too obnoxious. I'm, I'm not really a fragrance person, as I've said, but you know, it's, it's good. As long as he didn't douse himself in it and go out in public, I'm all right. So um, there's also a nice little, um, well, actually it's a big sample size of Edge shaving cream and a nice, <coughs> excuse me, a big chic um, shaver and Dove shampoo and conditioner and <laughs> a little degree uh, deodorant. So this is $7, seven and they have them four times a year. This happens to be, I think, the uh, summer one. There's one for fall, um, and it's a, it's a subscription for four times a year, so it just comes to me whenever. I'm thinking probably October is when I'll get the other one. But you know, about some of these subscription boxes is you can gift them to someone. My niece graduated from high school a couple years ago, and I gave her a year subscription to a beauty box that she liked. So you know, it's a really, really nice gift. If you're a teenager, can you imagine getting that as a, as a gift? 
So anyway, I think they're really affordable gifts and um, most people would like them. So now on to my treatment. Um, I got the rest of my genetics tests on Friday and everything's negative. Everything's fine. So they don't know why it runs in my family. They don't know why I have breast cancer and I don't care. I don't care how I got it or why I got it. I just want it out of my body. And so that is why I've chosen to do the bilateral mastectomy and have both my, both my breasts removed. At the same time, I'm going to have a reconstruction and that's why I see a plastic surgeon. His name is Dr. George Min. He's in Bellevue, Washington, and he is fantastic. All the work I've seen is just fantastic. He's a really nice guy too, really nice guy. So I'm gonna go back on Thursday and we're gonna talk about the reconstruction. What happens is my other doctor, Dr. Kelly Clinch in Kirkland, Washington, takes the breast tissue out and then Dr. Min replaces that with these little balloon expanders that goes between my chest wall and my pec muscle. So he fills that full of saline to about um, where I want them to be. I, I know about what size I wanna be and I just hope that we're both on the same track. That's what I'm going to uh, meet with him on Thursday about. Make sure I don't look, you know, matronly and, or porn starish and stupid, uh, but just, you know, a nice, or a nice round set. Okay, <laughs> that's what I want. So um, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go in and, and talk to him about that and he's gonna explain a little more further. But from what I understand, he told me is these expansion, um, these expanders, uh, the balloons are filled with saline and this is for about six weeks or so until there's a pocket there and then the, the uh, actual implant goes in. So I have to have surgery twice. Fortunately, they go in um, on the same place, so I'll only have one scar, and so far it's going to be underneath my breast, so that the scar won't be too bad. Um, I was really concerned about that. You know, some of them, they cut your nipple off, and you know, really. I just didn't want to go there, and I'm so grateful that I don't have to. And for the women who have to, oh my God, I feel everything for you. Um, and so part of the reason why I want to do this new um, cancer care box for women with breast cancer is because we, I think we need a little pretty, you know, something to make us feel pretty in a not very pretty time in our lives. So um, I think that's really important. And I really want my new boobs. That's what's keeping me going is, okay, so I have to get rid of the old ones. Okay. But the new ones, I'm very, very happy that I actually have that opportunity to have them um, because my great aunts, neither of them um, had the opportunity to do that. And they did what's called a radical mastectomy back in the 70s where they take your entire lap muscle. It's, it's just a horrible um, barbaric operation. And I'm very, very happy that we've come so far. So please join me. I'm going to do a video on Tuesday. Today's Sunday. Uh, Tuesday is talk like a pirate day so it's it's a national holiday okay so you have to participate um i like silly stupid things like that i think it's fun and you can't take everything so seriously all the time so i will see you on tuesday and have a nice day and stay strong